So the next kick I'm gonna show you guys is the side kick. With that kick, again, you stand in the stance that I showed you earlier. You raise your foot like this, you pivot and you push out. So it's really a pushing kick, okay? So it's like up, kick, okay? Your, make sure that your butt is aligned with the butt of your opponent, okay? Because you don't want to be kicking like that. That is nothing, okay? So it's up, kick, and out. On the other side, it's up, kick, and out. All right, okay. The next kick that I want to show you guys is the roundhouse kick. And that is one of the most popular kicks in martial arts. Everybody does it. Again, the stance is the same. You come up and you flip it back and you kick to the side. All right, so that kick is either to the rib cage or to the face. All right, so it's like this, up kick, bam. One more time, up kick, bam. One more time, bam. Okay, so that's the roundhouse kick. My favorite version of this roundhouse kick is the double roundhouse kick, which is you go no first, which is a fake, and then high. Okay, so the second part of that kick is where the power comes in. The first kick is just a fake, so that the opponent drops his hand or her hand, and then you come and you slap them on the side of the face. The next kick I want to show you guys is the hook kick. And that is similar to a round horse kick, but instead of slapping on this side, you come from that side. So, again, you pivot, you, you, you come up, pivot, pow. Okay, that's very simple. Up, pow. So if you do that very quickly, okay, you can create some serious damage because that kick is, is not really um, anticipated by your opponent. Okay, so it looks something like that. Okay, the last kick that I'd like to show you guys is something called the back kick. And that is, is a pretty straightforward kick in that from this start, you turn, Basically crossing your legs, bring your leg up and out. And that's all it is. Okay? So let me show you that again. Okay? Pow. Okay, make sure that when you land you, you balance yourself because you don't want to be off balance when you're facing someone. That could be catastrophic. So here we go again. And on the other side. Now with all of these kicks, you can create distance. Okay, for example, I can stand way over here and still strike someone standing where the camera is. And to do that, let me come a little closer. All I need to do is cross my legs and come up and then the rest is history. So, be sure to do. That looks something like this. So, let's stop here for today. I hope that you guys can at least try out some of these things to keep your mind occupied during this time. And next time we'll do some handwork and some footwork together in what is popularly known as kickboxing. So until that time, take care, stay safe people, and you know, keep occupied. Bye.